Hello and welcome to a very cold and a very blustery attic here at Harvington Hall. Some of you may already be aware that we've already posted a video of the attic on social media showing you all the nooks and crannies and the spaces that the public don't get to see. So today I thought I would show you something in a little bit more detail and it is this space behind me. Here you'll find the second largest priest hide in England. It's 12 foot wide, 17 foot long and 7 foot at its highest point. That's a pretty big space. Now around the country you can still find around 120 to 130 priest hides still in existence. Harvington has seven of those hiding places which is more than any other house. Now here's an interesting fact for you. Priest hides can only be determined if you still have the original flooring, doorway or entrance. If you don't have these it's very difficult to say if it's a hiding place or not. In a house of this age typically you will find corners, spaces and alcoves which can easily be interpreted as a priest hide. Now some of you are probably sitting there thinking, Phil, of course this is obvious there's a priest hide behind you because you can see into it, but this wouldn't have been the case. All of this here would have been plastered across. Now for those of you that have visited Harmonton, you will know the layout is completely confusing. And that confusing layout continues up here in the attic. So the theory is the priest hunters get to this wall and think they're at the end of the house. But little do they know, up there is the original doorway. So it's about time I go and put a coat on and climb inside the hide. So here we are in the second largest priest hide in England and you're doing this from the comfort of your own home and I'm sitting here absolutely freezing. <laughs> it's so cold in this space. But the camera is currently in the doorway so I will show you this doorway in a moment and the passageway that the priest walks down to actually get into here. But this hiding place is directly above the priest's room. For anybody who's visited Harvington you may know or notice that the ceiling height is significantly higher in the priest room than any other room on the top floor because of course the hiding place is directly above. But as I've said, priest hides are determined from the flooring and the doorway. Well, to the side of me, either side, there are a couple of boards and of course I have the doorway in front of me. So if I pop the camera around and you can just take a look at the flooring. You can see there, so you've got a board here, you've got a board to the side there and also another board just to the side of me. And I'm currently standing on this very large central beam there, which I can uh, just about walk across. But if I walk my way down slightly, I will just point out as well, just to the left-hand side, some wood there and some wood all in here as well. Now that's probably gonna act as some kind of insulation while they're in here. But flipping the camera around, you can see I'm six foot tall and there's still plenty of room above my head, so it's seven foot. There's another foot above my head. Why have we got such a large priest hide is a question we don't really know the answer to, but some places did have hiding places for printing presses. So that potentially could have been happening here in this space. But I'm just gonna make my way down a little bit further back so you, just so you can get a true sense of what I'm looking at. So I'll pop the camera around back again for you to have a look. So this is what I can see, pretty amazing, isn't it? So doorway here, this is the original doorway. And then further down, you can see those other two doorways leading into this space. So we'll go back to have a look. I've got to be very careful on this beam so I don't go through the floor below. This gives it away, look. You can see where a latch used to go across. You also have this little bit here, look, so you can close it from this side. Popping you through the doorway, Notice, look, there's no ceiling down here now. You can see directly below, but there is still some ceiling to the left. So this has all been a ceiling there and some flooring on. So the priest escapes through a false fireplace in the marble room, then climbs through a trap door, and then he goes where that doorway in the distance is there. He will basically walk through there into the next space. I've lit it up now so you can see down there. Comes through this doorway and then all the way back here, through this doorway and finds himself in the safety of the priest hide. 
So there you have it everyone, that was the Priest Hide. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is an absolute privilege even for me to do this because it's, this is a space I don't often come into. Uh, I certainly haven't really seen the passageway lit up the way it is. Uh, the public certainly have never seen this because from down below you don't get a true sense like you do from up here in the hide. So if you want me to post some more videos, some inside priest hides and to be able to actually turn the light off so you can see how dark and horrible it must have been, uh, we can do that. So please comment below if you want to see some more. And uh, yeah, until the next time, everybody, stay safe and we shall see you very soon. Time for a cup of tea. It's absolutely freezing.